Welcome guys to another video. Today I'm at Ngong showcasing this house that is behind me. It's a three bedroom bungalow uh, with the master bedroom en suite. And also this house features the hidden roof concept, which we'll talk about later on in the video. So as you can see, it's being built using precast concrete panels, which is a topic that you guys seem to be interested in lately. It's I think the most popular topic on my channel. I'll definitely continue showcasing more and more projects using this technology. We are also going to be joined in by engineer Ian, who will take us through the project and discuss about different aspects while constructing this home. I'm Nick Mema from Property Noma, and let's get started with the video. So Ian, welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you uh, with us once again. You have this project, which is in the background, and I wanted you to introduce it to the audience. So kindly introduce yourself and the project. Okay, I'm, I'm Ian, I'm a civil engineer. And uh, behind us is a project, a three bedroom bungalow. Uh, it has a hidden flat roof and it's at Ngong. A hidden flat roof? Yes. You know, when someone sees the facade of the house, yeah. the first thing they think of is that this is a flat roof. So this is a hidden roof concept. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, based on it, how it was designed, yeah. it was designed to be a slab flat roof. Uh -huh. But then because of the cost, yeah. uh, now the owner decided to modify it to be now hidden but maintain the design. Okay. Yes. So we'll talk about the roof uh, later on. Okay. But for now, I wanted us to talk about the house in, at large. Okay. So what is the size of the house? How many rooms? And if you know the spaces of the living room, the kitchen, yeah, you can take us through that. Uh, the house is about 190 square meters. Uh, it's made up of a, a veranda at the front, but, uh, back, uh, sitting, dining, uh, then three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, this is the main entrance. This is the main feature that someone, when someone sees once they arrive at this house. Yeah. So this is a veranda? Yeah, this is a veranda. Mm -hmm. uh, typically the clients want to put a, a, a sliding door all through, mm -hmm. and then a window, now using aluminium. Okay. Yeah, so for the front part. For, yeah. So we can see you've used the uh, rectangular hollow sections uh, on this side and also at the corner over there. Uh, why that uh, feature? Um, because of the, it's because we want to put the aluminium, and then uh, we wanted a, the client wanted a clear, a clear view mm -hmm. from inside, not not blocked. So uh, the reason we use the steel is because to integrate it with the aluminium wall and sliding door is mm -hmm. quite easy. Yeah, yeah, and then it's able to support this uh, parapet at the top. Yeah. So, since you're on the, we're talking about the parapet, will it be plastered in the end? Uh, what, the, what, what, what the design is, it yeah. will have some, it will, it will have all master, and then also it would also be have, it would have also the stone, stone finish. Yeah, the stone so, cladding. Yeah, the stone cladding, which would now be stuck on the panels. Ah. Yeah, I think you, you can share the three D. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll put it on the. Yes, on the video. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you can walk with me. We we come here. Yeah. So you said that on this uh, side of the of the veranda, there'll be an aluminium window. Yes. Yes. Okay. We we'll put aluminium here at the side. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, let's go back to the parapet wall. Yeah. On this side the parapet wall is higher than on this side. Why, why is it that way? Okay, it's just a feature for aesthetics because um, uh, ordinarily if you have a slab at, at, the, at the roof, this would act as, as a, to prevent someone from falling off. Mm -hmm. But then now because we are now doing a hidden roof, now it maintains the beauty, but also it hides the, the roofing sheets which were used. I wanted us to talk about uh, the lintel the beam. Yes. 
normally that would be concrete, but I'm seeing here, I'm seeing the C channel, an RHS section, and then the C channels that are holding the parapet wall. Yes. So, how does that compare in strength now to the traditional lintel? It's equally strong, but again, uh, because we're using the precast, it's faster to use steel. Yeah. So you see, we integrate steel with the precast, and then uh, because of the weight, like you see, this is a 1.8 meter parapet. Mm -hmm. So we we add that steel also to support the the extra weight. Let's go to the hidden roof. That topic. A lot of clients have called me, have texted me on WhatsApp about this uh, hidden roof concept, mostly about cost. Yeah. So. Does this concept save some few coins or how does it compare to now the other uh, ways of roofing? Okay, um, initially if we put a slab, it would cost around 1 million shillings only for the slab. Hmm. Now, if this was a gable design, it would cost around maybe 600,000. But then now because we did, we did a hidden roof, this roof costed 400,000. 400,000? Yes. Does so that, you see... So that, does that include also the Mabati covers? Yes. Everything. The timber. Uh, even, the, wood. even the truss work? Yes. So actually it, it reduces the cost by 50% of, of the roof. Ah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So a slab, of course it's a permanent uh, structure, but it's, yeah. it's super expensive. Yes. And then uh, the traditional, you know, the fancy designs. Yes. 700. And then yeah. the hidden... 400. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And how long does, does that take to do the roofing? Uh, just around two weeks. Around two weeks. Yes. Okay. Mm. Now, for the panels. Yeah. Let's talk about first the installation time. How long did it take to do the walling for the entire house? The walling we took about a week. And then now the parapet, we did it after the roofing. Mm -hmm. for about another another week. Another week. Yeah. So like two weeks in total for yes. the walling? Yes. Uh-huh. And how many panels uh, did you use? It, we used around 180 panels. So the cost for the panels is around 400,000. For 400. this complete house together with the parapet. Ah. Uh, yeah. And the ceiling height? The uh, height of the panel? We put a 2.7 meter, the normal floor height. Mm -hmm. And then now, for the parapet here, we have used 1.8. These others are 0.9 meters. And at the back, we used some for 1.2 meters height for that uh, aesthetic purpose. Okay. Yeah. So you said the size of this house is? Around 190, 190 square meters. 190 square meters. Yes. So, so far, mm -hmm. how much to get to this point? How much has it cost? Okay. Up to now, it's around 2.8 million. 28 million. Yes. Wow. Mm. And if you include uh, finishing, the budget for finishing? If I include finishing, maybe around 3.5. So so 3.5 a finished home? Yes. Wow. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. Initially, even the foundation had like columns. Uh, you can see the steel protruding. Yeah. But then now we, because now of the budget, we now opted for maintaining the design, but again, lowering the cost. So does that mean using RHS sections reduced the cost? Yeah, it reduced the cost because we just put them at the main entrances and at the edges. Okay. Yes. And like now doing the columns the traditional way and then you again do the beams. Yeah. So that yeah. would have been expensive. Okay. Yeah. So today is the 27th of May. How long have you been here on site? How long has this project taken? Okay, with bricks, we have taken around, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the, the sixth week. The sixth week? Yes. And you intend to do the finishing, what is your timeline? Uh, timeline is around maybe three weeks, because we have already started the electricals, the plumbings, so next is the skimming and the tiles, yeah. Yeah, I've also seen they've done some the flooring. Yes. Uh, they've put the, the floor level. Yeah. Okay. For a hidden roof concept, how do you handle uh, the drainage for rainwater? Okay, um, an example is in this case, how we handled it is we have a butterfly roof, 
so the water drainage is around here you can see it but we'll now redirect the the drain to now move uh to have a downpipe here at this corner at this corner and you see this corner is hidden you cannot see it from the front yeah and then now we'll box the the, the drainage pipe and then you see it will just lead to the to the existing drain so so uh, this is this plumbing is part of that yes this plumbing is part of that <laughs> and then also at the back we have a, a good feature which i think you saw we have a cantilever mm -hmm. yeah yeah we let's let's talk more about that so right at the back uh apologies for the the house the initial house was here so we had to demolish it to now do this house now at the back we have this cantilever now as per the design uh, it had this cantilever all across the dining area and then you see now the versatility of using steel has now enabled us to now put the steel beams now to hold the, the parapet at the top to maintain the the, the, the aesthetic which we are, we are designed yeah. So how how do you support uh, the cantilever design using uh, the panels and the steel section? Now from the columns, they now hold the beams, which now hold the parapet. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we just did a, a steel reinforcement. Will you use a ceiling cover to hide this uh, cantilever? Yes, yes, we'll put a ceiling now on the outside. And then also, another thing is also, you notice the the parapet heights are also different. There we have 1.2, here we have 0 0.9. Yeah, so it's because of the the hidden roof. Yeah, and then also? Uh, uh, the, uh, the angle of the Mabati. Yes. Will the client do stone cladding on the back facade uh, of their home? Yeah, from the design, there is stone cladding. I think uh, if you also show them the 3D for the back, that is what we try to achieve. Uh, if you look at the 3D, then you actually see from what we have achieved, you can have an outlook of what the final product would be. I can't wait to see the final house yeah. and draw the home with the client. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this space, is it a laundry area? Yeah, it's a laundry area. So uh, there are two areas here and, and another one at the back. And they are both sides. A very common question that I get asked in the comments, on phone calls, is how the panels are secured to the house's foundation. So as an engineer, how do you ensure the stability of the panels to the house's foundation? Okay, so uh, once we put the panels, we have a screening at the outside and then also on the inside. Then once you also put tiles, that adds to the, the reinforcement, yeah. So, so they have around is, 100 millimeter holding at both ends. 100 millimeter. Yes. So like for it, for this example, from here to somewhere around here. Yes. And is that secure enough that the panels won't tilt in future? Now, apart from that, mm -hmm. uh, we have also what reinforcement bars we are putting to support them laterally. Yes. So we we have to make sure that every walling. Uh, at the bottom and at the top is adequately secured. Okay. Yeah. So guys, right now we are in the living room and right beneath me is where the two slopes uh, for the butterfly design meet. And this is the main valley. So engineer Ian, how did you ensure that you've firmly secured this valley to support the weight of all the water that will flow uh, during a heavy rainstorm. Okay. Um, one, the panels adequately support the roof because the panels are strong enough. So, uh, but where they need reinforcement, uh, we put extra, we put more timber because we didn't have a very big, big span to warrant us to use steel. So we just look for a cost effective solution. Yeah. And then now, uh, can agree with me once the ceiling is done, no one will know this is a this is a, a, a yeah. Mabati. You've done the brandering. Yes. So what, what does the client intend to use for the ceiling? Is it gypsum? Yeah, just the normal gypsum. Normal gypsum. Yeah. At each corner of this house, 
have noticed the RHS sections. So what will you uh, do with them? Will you expose them or will you cover them with concrete? Are they a part of the finishing of the house? Yeah, this was just to add uh, the structural strength at, at either uh, corners. Yeah, because here we have black cotton. So uh, this was to add the strength. And then later on, once we do the, the paint finish, it will, you, will not, you, cannot not, you will not notice that there, is, there was a, a, a steel column there. The house would just look uniformly all around. So guys, I hope you have appreciated this video. And our guest engineer, Ian, who has taken us through and taken us through the technical a bit of this home. I intend to do a final tour with the client once uh, the finishing is done. So that will be uh, sometime later on. Stay in touch, subscribe, like, share the videos and spread the love. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.